80% of poor and people of moderate means don't have access to civil, um, civil representation. Uh, in addition to that, in today's time, 90% of all Americans who are in the family court system are representing themselves. So I think what we have to do as young lawyers, we have to say um, that um, uh, first we, we, we have to acknowledge the problem, but secondly we have to say that there are other ways that we can represent people. For example, we should be utilizing technology uh, to make sure we're meeting uh, clients where they are. And we talked about that today, uh, uh, some Wisconsin young lawyers talked about uh, some of the uh, programs that they're using to actually have face-to-face uh, -face conversations with uh, clients uh, from afar. And those are the types of things that we need to scale and see uh, happen all over the country. These programs are in place, these organizations are in place to provide you with the toolkit that you need to actually um, be change agents in your community. So uh, whether it's um, going to our website, the ABA YLD, where there's very specific tools about um, getting engaged uh, with regards to legal innovation, diversity and inclusion, which obviously is a major issue in the profession right now, um, or even uh, what it takes to advocate on issues of importance to uh, young lawyers. Student loan debt is a perfect example of that. Um, the Pew Research Group, for, uh, for example, came out recently with a report on um, on various industries and, and the legal profession is uh, unfortunately the most despised profession in America. And I think when you, you take that fact with what you see um, on TV today, what you hear from politicians, um, people are beginning to lose trust in not, um, uh, not only attorneys, um, but in the legal systems uh, and judicial systems that, that we hold dear. And I think we as young lawyers have an obligation there to, to make sure that, uh, that we're pushing against um, some of those sentiments out there that, that in, in some way uh, we're bad or, or we're not providing um, on the public support that, that, um, that we took an oath to, to provide. So, um, whether that's a person deciding that they want to run for office because we have less uh, lawyers in public office than we did even a decade ago, or um, going to your state capitol or Capitol Hill and, and advocating on the issues that we know are important not only to the profession specifically but to society as a whole. Um, I guess my call to action to young lawyers is it really is a time for us to, to step up. Um, and this is not po um, political. In a, Republican or Democrat sense, um, that doesn't matter at the end of the day, but we as lawyers, we've been trained differently, we think differently, uh, we have a set of values that guide us uh, on a daily basis, and, and we need those skills and we need that passion and energy more than ever to help push our country and our communities forward.